got some pretzels from the beer garden. They look pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty hot because I had to wait like for them to finish. And when I turned up, it was about 13 minutes. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little while because it's yeah. they're pretty warm, but they freshly cooked. Chloe, what's the pretzels like? Ah, I think they're doing well. I think they've got the seal of approval, haven't they? <laughs> pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, that was not bad, even for kids. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't think that one was going to be that scary, but I haven't been in the water yet. And uh, yeah, the old mustard up the nose thing. Oh, straight away, but anyway, it gets you in the pool. Yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad slide. I think the idea is I've got to wait for him to finish. So yeah, I'm going to try the yellow slide out, which is probably for kids, where it says for over 12. I'm not sure he looked 12 yet, but down there. Right, here we are. I think. I think he's off, so I'm going to give it a go. Right, here we go. Oh, man. Whew. It's a little bit ribby. You got too bad? Oh. Yeah. It's the old busted thing again. People come off it pretty quick as well. You go quite far, you jump about two, three meters out. So you want the area beneath you to be clear. Well, it was when I went on, but it was all right. But yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a free for all. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, let's try out the green one. It's pretty fast. Go, oh, yeah. That's the first time I've ever dropped the camera. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Basically, that one was pretty fast come the end. Like, really, really shook you around. And, like, yeah, the camera came out of my hand. <laughs> and I was like, where is it? <laughs> wow. Anyway, yeah, that was good. But that's, yeah, I've been on ones before that looked pretty, like, I don't know, that one looked like a basic one. But yeah, it's not. It's not a basic slide. That was really, really fast at the end. Like, I lied back and I don't know, it just really, like, it just got really, really fast at the end. I think you got to sit up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was really good. What do you think of the burger, right? Yeah. I thought it was pretty good actually. Yeah, be careful the seagulls, they really like the burgers. Yeah. Um, they've been sort of circling. Hey, can I get a Hawaiian please? Hawaii, Hawaii yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it's a really good pool bar. People are really friendly. It's, there's a lot of drinks options as well, like loads of them. Thank you very much, thank you. Cheers. Yeah, really friendly staff. Always smiling, always being nice to you. And they probably, you know, work pretty hard as well, so. But yeah, so it's really nice and, you know, I've got my cocktail. Um, I think Hawaii's my favorite. Uh, there's Rachel and Emily. You just, they're just going up for a pineapple juice, so we're crossing over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they were coming that way. It wasn't set up or anything. But no, we, uh, I've been gone a little while, I think. I think they're probably getting a bit fed up of waiting for me to come back. But yeah, look, we got our got our sunbeds, no problem. I mean, there's quite a few sunbeds available, to be honest, as you can see. You know, unless you want to be right outside the pool. I mean, you do see people reserve them in the morning, whether they should or not. Um, but we we tend not to sit at the right at the front anyway. I mean, you're not meant to reserve them, but people do. And like, yeah, so 
the ball hasn't blown away, so that's all good. Yeah, so we've got our little sunbed area. It's nice and cool over here. Not too in the sun, not too in the shade. Nice little plant. Nice sort of view of the pool. I quite like the pool, how it's got like a sort of bridge going across it as well. You know, that's that's just like this just extra like visual things that make you just think, yeah, it looks quite cool. You know, it's not it's not just a square pool, you know, um, but with good value. Uh, but yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you basically got an indoor pool as well. So there are actually people in the pool. I'm quite surprised by that. Um, and we did know this was here, but we, um, we forgot to go to it. Yeah, it's an indoor pool. And I'm wondering if there's like a sort of uh, toilet area here. That's what I was mainly looking for. Yeah, there is. So it's actually not very far from our sunbeds, because we're outside because it's still quite sunny. But if you want to come indoors, it's a nice pool. And again, it's not just a square or like rectangle pool. You took, oh, there is, there's no lifeguard, but, uh, <laughs> but I don't think it's a very deep pool. But yeah, it's an indoor pool and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Usual stuff, clock on the wall, that's what you usually get in an indoor pool, isn't it? And some extra sort of sun lounges in here um, and all over there. I mean, to be honest, we've had no problems getting space at the pools on the, uh, the outside area, but you know, sometimes you just want to get out of the sun, maybe. Um, the spa's down through there, I think, somewhere in that area. Um, we haven't been to the spa area, but uh, car park, I think, is out that way. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. You've got a massive pool, basically, all indoor. So, I mean, that's quite good, really, because I think this is a big indoor pool as well. Like, it's quite a lot of room in here as well. So, yeah, really good. She's got some muscles, which uh, she saw on someone else's video, and it was really good. Um, and shark, <laughs> so they've got shark. Just actually, I tried a little bit; it was quite nice. Too bad. Yeah. Uh, my plate's more predictably my sort of thing. Um, I've got like pieces of coated chicken, some chicken breast. Um, I, what is the stuff that Emily's eating at the moment? Not um, real. Yeah, oh yeah, so I've got some veal, uh, and Emily's got some veal, and I, I think that was like a big bit of veal as well, the, the big bit there, and I've got lots of other little bits, but there's loads of, there's loads of choice in there, isn't there? Yeah. Um, Chloe's got sort of cucumber that she keeps sort of dropping down there. She's eating some of my tuna. Yeah, she's eating some of the tuna as well, so it's pretty good. Um, I've got a Coke. And the girls have got water. 
Um, I might have a beer in a bit. But I felt like something to pet me up. So I got some Coke. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. And we're sat outside in the... Um, there's like an outside area from the restaurant. So the, in through the doors, there's a there's a way in to get to the restaurant buffet area. And out here, we're sort of out by the pool. So there's kind of like uh, part of the part of the restaurant is um, part of the restaurant is like outside basically. So you've got like. A sort of outdoor, little outdoor seating area. Well, actually, it's not that little, really, because there's a whole area over there as well. Um, it's pretty good, isn't it? I think it's it's like a nice evening out here. It's quite cool. Um, yeah, nice little breeze. Um, but yeah, I think it feels very sort of. Um, it's like well landscaped this place, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's really nicely laid out, I would say. And then you've got like kind of pools out there, so. There was still some towels on the pool, so I don't know if um, people are. I don't know if people are putting the towels down already. But anyway, it's um, yeah, it's nice outside, isn't it? Chloe's enjoying it. She's eating some uh, cucumber, and uh, Rachel's got a fish and shark, <laughs> and I've got my chicken and veal. So yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we're enjoying it. Nice place. And um, the food's very varied, um, really good quality, lots of salad options, like loads of different things, like all different olives and, you know, all sorts, tomatoes, lettuce, cabbage, carrot, there's loads of options. Um, yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, really enjoying it so far. And it's nice to sit outside here where it's quite cool and um, you're right by the pool, basically, and there's no... You know, there's nothing obstructing a view, and you can get out to the pool. If it, I mean, I don't think you would go in the pool now, but um, it's kind of like uh, <laughs> Chloe's dropped. Chloe's dropped the cucumber again. There's more cucumber down here. But yeah, it's really nice, really nice little, um, nice area to eat, really. So yeah, we're gonna crack on and eat this. Uh, Taparia El Macon, 
Salacon, something like that. <laughs> and basically, it's the, the taperia, um, and it's quite nice. You know, you've got like um, a nice like sort of area to sit outside, and it's pretty good. You know, it's like again, it's quite cultured, and you know, it's like a nice themed area rather than just having you know drinks area. <laughs> Chloe is not having a cocktail and she's not that happy about that <laughs> but it's nice you can sort of if you don't want to go to the main entertainment which is down over there um, which is fine it's just a load of singing and dancing um, what you usually get at these <laughs> sort of places and um, we thought we'd sit out and have a nice drink and so we've got an a a what's it Acapulco yeah so it's an no, no, I think it's just called Acapulco. Oh. So this is Acapulco, which is like, I don't know, it's like, it's, I don't know what it is, but it's got like, <laughs> it's got, it's got grenadine in it, it's got like, probably like, I'm not sure, but Chloe is choking. Um, <laughs> no, she's alright, she's just coughing. <laughs> uh, Emily's got pineapple juice, um, and uh, Rachel's also got an Acapulco. I'm going to go and have a look, actually, and see what's actually in an Acapulco. I mean, I've just been going through the list of cocktails, so I don't know what's in them, but I wanted to try and get through them all, um, because, you know, it's good to try everything. So I think, I think what is in it, what is in it? Oh, yes, yeah, tequila, rum, grenadine, and pineapple juice. It's very nice, and these nice people made it for me. <laughs> and we've got... Um, and we've got uh, tapas. It looks really good. There's like Spanish omelette and stuff. Yeah, Spanish omelette, olives, all sorts of little bits, really. And it's quite cool in here. You've got like, yeah, it's a nice sort of chilled atmosphere, like a bar sort of atmosphere, nice low lights. Um, you know, and it's really nice sort of feeling. You know, the bar's the all-inclusive bar. You've got the all-inclusive soft drinks and fruit juices and stuff. So you're getting all the same things everywhere. Um, and it's part of the... Well, it's next to the Bay Hotel, or it is part of the Bay Hotel. But, of course, you can use it whichever resort you're booked into. Whether you're booked into the Mare or the Palace or the, um, or the Bay itself, you can use it. And there's the Bay Hotel with their main restaurant over there. It's right next to the bay pool, which they're doing some zorbing in again. I think that's a paid-for activity, but, you know, it's really good. You see a lot of kids. It's very popular. Everybody's doing it every evening, so I think it's not very much like maybe four will ever go. Um, yeah, it's quite a cool and nice area, and you've got a sort of chilled-out vibe here. Everybody's sort of sitting down and, you know, having a nice drink, and... Um, Unfortunately, it's our last night tonight, so we are heading back tomorrow. Um, so we'll probably be leaving after breakfast tomorrow. We're not sure whether we'll make it to uh, lunchtime even because we need to get back. And um, yeah, Emily's got a pineapple one. I think that's quite good. Pineapple's quite good for kids. They like, you know, it's a bit of a different flavour. They're not just boring orange juice and stuff. So it's pretty good. Yeah, it's got tequila rum, grenadine, there's some other stuff which will be on the video, <laughs> so you'll have to watch the video, because I don't remember it all, but it was really nice in there, they had Spanish omelette and stuff, they had lots of little sort of tapas style small bites, so you, you can get food here as well, again if you don't feel like going to the main restaurant for dinner, um, we've already been actually, so if you fancy having dinner and then having dinner again, you can do that, can't you, because Essentially, we, we, we could now go and eat. There's no issue. It's all inclusive. So we could go and have another another meal if we wanted to. But I, I am quite full after today's dinner. It was pretty good. Um, but yes, yeah, so our last night, we're winding down. Um, you know, it's a bit sad because, to be honest, we've really enjoyed it. And, it. and if anything, I think today's been the best day. I think we, we, we mainly, you know, we got in all the different pools and... I don't know, like, yeah, we managed to get Emily, no, we didn't get Emily into the main pool, but she's been a bit funny, she didn't want to go in it this year, or she only went in it one time, um, well, not that we came here before, but I mean, compared to other places with main pools, Sim, yeah, no, I'd say here's bigger, I'd say this is, like, really big, yeah. it's much bigger, 
Yeah, well, we took her down to the baby pool, and she's been in there a few times this week. So, um, yeah, it's um, it's a shame because today I feel like I really, yeah, I really got in the pool. I burnt my head quite a bit as well because uh, I can't really put sun cream up there. Um, <laughs> it's getting less and less air. I need a hat. Yeah, yeah, it's the obvious answer, but you know, I'm re- I'm reticent. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's a shame because it's our last evening, but we're, yeah, it's a nice evening, you know, it's sort of like sunny, cloudy evening, it's pretty nice, um, really warm, you know, I mean, I don't know what it is, it must be like 20 odd, I mean 27 or something, it's quite a warm evening for like the beginning of July, um, but yeah, we're just having some cocktails, using up the last bit of time, the evening that we've got left, and um, yeah, it's going to be sad to go home tomorrow, really. Um, we've had a great time and um, wish we'd booked for longer, really. Um, but, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, it's just so varied, you know. There's so much to sort of look at. You know, you've got different pools that look different. <laughs> you know, like you go to the different hotels, they've got, like, slightly different pools outside each one. Um, and you've got the baby pool area, which is another sort of, like, it's completely re... It's a, it's a different design from the other places isn't it and it's got kind of like nice rock feel to it although it's like not obviously rocky but um but there is like kind of yeah it's kind of all built it's landscaped the whole area is really well landscaped there's nice flowers as you can see um you've got like a sort of um weird castle there that i don't think is historical in any way um and you've got the um the main entertainment which you can hear in the background and um yeah you know it's been it's been pretty good uh, you can see out over to the, the black sea out over beside us as well so it's very nice it's we have a beautiful sea view we've had we've had a, we've had nice days really and um i think it's gonna be shame it's gonna be shame to go home really but we we are feeling quite tired aren't we because we've been sort of it's been been a been a good week but we've you know we've basically yeah we feel a bit sort of exhausted but could probably just relax now for another week here <laughs> if we had the chance um but we won't unfortunately but yeah chloe's oblivious she doesn't really know what to think are you looking forward to going home chloe <laughs> i i don't think she really knows i think when she doesn't get to go in the baby pool again she's gonna probably go what's going on now nah, she won't she won't remember but um it's the best way, really. We will we'll be wishing we could come back all week. So <laughs> who knows? We might come back soon. So yeah, it's um, been really good. Um, Emily was playing with the in the pool earlier, the baby pool, weren't you? You had the ball and the and the and Kitty, didn't you? You enjoyed yourself, weren't you, Ems? Yeah, I think that's a yes. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take her to the park in a minute. There's a little park up the road, so we're gonna have a go in the park. Yeah, so lots to do and see and places to sort of go to and um, yeah. So, but yeah, we're on the wind down now.
has come to an end for nearly the last few minutes really. Uh, we're all packed up and ready to go. Suitcase packed, <laughs> you know, car keys out, everything. Fire TV away. Um, Emily's still playing on a tablet. <laughs> That'll be going away before the car. Uh, all packed up basically. And um, yeah, you're not gonna miss this place. Uh, really nice view out here. Uh, so I'll have this view for a while, uh, unless we come back. Um, but who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, we'll be back to our house. <laughs> and uh, We certainly don't have this lovely sea view like this. It's a really nice view, a very nice weather today again. Um, you can see out to Ravda over there. You've got the Mare Hotel there. Um, so everybody's got their like towels out and stuff. You can see all the sunbeds. As you can see, loads of sunbeds. It's about nearly 10 o'clock. It's about like 10 to 10. And um, they've got the sunbeds. Uh, you know, some people are using them, but it is still loads available. Um, pretty good. Um, yeah, um, the Bay Hotel's on that side. So that's next to it. Next to our hotel, which is the Palace. You got the pool bar down there in the middle, along with the pool. Um, you can hear seagulls shrieking. I actually miss the seagulls, I think. It's gonna be, uh, yeah, you know, we, well, we've got used to having them around and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a shame. It's been a nice balcony as well in the evening. It's been nice to like, sit out here and look out at the sea. Um, one thing to say is that the light, um, it comes on when it's dark and it goes off around about 11 o'clock. So just before, I, it was like a couple of minutes before 11, I guess they thought it was 11 or maybe... It was 11. Um, so basically, yeah, once it starts to get dark, uh, maybe like just before dark, it get it, the light comes on and then it goes off at 11, so it's automated. You, there's no switch for it. So um, I think it's to get people back in their rooms and stuff after the, the entertainment and stuff closes down so you don't have parties out on balconies and what have you. <laughs> um, I'm sure a few people probably still try and stay out. Um, but we've had no noise issues or anything like that. It's really good. Once the entertainment stops, it's quiet and, you know, very restful. Um, yeah, but it's, um, it's been a nice time. And, uh, you know, down there's the terrace. Uh, that's the, um, you can sit out and have coffee and stuff from the lobby bar there. There's a lobby bar by reception. You're not far from reception. Um, all in the, like, main building, the palace building. And you've got that, like, nice terrace there. Sit out and have a coffee or whatever you, or whatever drink you want. Um, yeah, and the pools are really nice, and um, I think the seagulls are fighting the swifts or whatever they are, and um, they're all just kind of like trying to get the territory. <laughs> but yeah, another beautiful day, and um, people out in the pool, and um, it's a shame we won't be joining them today, because we'll be driving back. But yeah, it's been a nice time, and um, feel quite relaxed now from all of that. Um, so we've got to do the long drive home now, about three and a half hours or so to get back to the house. Um, but yeah, yeah, nice view and um, yeah, we're going to miss it. Down at the car um, and we're pretty much ready to go now. Um, car parking's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't, you know, they, they managed to get you a space. They kind of, it was a bit busy when we arrived and um, and they do seem to park cars in the middle, but they did get us a space, so it wasn't a problem in the end. We did manage to, to fit in, so can't really complain too much, but I was a bit nervous about parking. There is parking down the road as well. I saw a car park down there. Um, so whether or not you could, um, you know, use that parking if there wasn't any space here and then just, you know, small walk up. Um, that was about 12 lever day, I think, down the road. Parking here was 15 lever day. Uh, so it's quite pricey for the parking, but um, yeah, we've had a good trip, a good stay, and to be honest with you, it's all been worth it. We've enjoyed it, so and there's been no real drama, so now the only issue is how do we get out of the car park? Um, should be enough room to kind of pivot out, if not maybe go down around there and back out. Um, so yeah, so basically we're back in the rangey. You've got to see a no problem. 
strapped everyone's up. strapped up ready to go yeah. and yeah we're basically now heading off that's the end of the trip isn't it yeah, but, yeah. you know but yeah i've got everything in <laughs> just about so the things don't seem to fit after you've been on the trip do they we don't really add to anything but to be ten times more stuff in there. Yeah, it's a bit harder to get it in the car, yeah, than it? Even though we haven't really bought anything. No, we only bought like <laughs> a few souvenirs, so we're yeah. really surprised, and they were tiny. So yeah, right, we're heading off. That's the end of the trip, and uh, back to normality now.